Shalom, shalom. Blessed morning, my brothers and sisters. Afternoon, evening, whatever time it is, wherever you are. I'm just live on Facebook and Instagram just for a small couple of minutes. I greet all of you in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. It's my birthday today, my brothers and sisters. And already God has blessed me this morning. I've been praising and worshiping to this melody on my own. I said, let me just go live and worship. Maybe somebody wants to join. Instead of celebrating that day, I'm celebrating grace and life because of Jesus Christ. I would have been dead, you see, I'm alive. <laughs> That's why I don't care how I look old. Because at the end of the day, let me tell you all. Your miracles, I'm in 
what you had to do Let me see your manual Got you my oxygen And I thank you for another year Added to my life I bless your name It's more time with my children more time to love my husband and more time to praise and worship your holy name, Jesus. It's more time to exhort you, more time to worship you, more time to wake and dance. Emmanuel, I worship you. The God who never fails Only you can do Only you can do Only you can do Jesus Even the people that I watched On the screen for years When I was going through Those dark times Oh I see them Lord You showed me more than what I Sister died, they said, only you can do what no man can do, Jesus. Only you can change people's lives like no man could ever change. Jesus, if you didn't come for me, look at the shame and the joke that I was. Emmanuel, my restorer. Emmanuel, my provider, Jesus, the one who walks in front of me, my oxygen. Emmanuel, my sustainer, God the Father, my guide, and Holy Spirit, my help. I bless your name. The man watching doesn't understand, but this is my life, and you have touched me. I bless your name, Jesus. I bless your name, Jesus Christ. I bless your name, Father. I worship you, Adonai. I lift you high, Elohim. I own.
he's sleeping. Brothers and sisters, you see, it even stopped on his own like it knew. God of Abraham knew it. Your boy is sleeping. Okay. I'm going to come later on. This is not done. We have not done any praise and worship, by the way. I'm going to come back later on. I just was feeling this melody. I've been singing it alone since I woke up. I've just been singing it with my boy here, and I know I have to put him for a nap. So when he wakes up, I'm going to get out of the house. I'm going to look for a place. Hey, the weather is bad. I'm going to go under the bridge, my local place, my altar, where the Lord and me meet each other. Hey, Zemwa, you find me there, God of Abraham. Eh? Atat, Ajuta. Adana, Munsangi Paraya, Nanin Kusangi. I was just allowing the Lord to understand what time I'll be there. You understand? So I'm just going to celebrate, not birthday. And sister, let me tell you, I will explain to the Lord, Sister Sharon, I've not received no present from you, Sister Lynette. And I'm not going to fake it here. You people don't even send me no present. Babe, don't worry, my daughter in law, you, you are pregnant. You need to bed well, well. I want my grandchild to be healthy. I don't want you to bother yourself. Just spread your legs there and let. Air yeah, enter you left and right with the Holy Ghost and the anointing. Hello, praise the Lord. Anyway, I'll come later on when Papa Rocafeira comes. He's rehearsing, you know, a musician like me. So he means to rehearse like that. Me, my rehearsal is never rehearsal. It's called praise and worship. So we are we are both uh, different, but uh, he also say when he's playing his uh, Vuvzera, he always aims high to the heaven for Papa Rocafeira. Hmm? Today is Monday, my sister. Sister Iki Chooks. Where are you, Sister Chooks? You are in Russia or in China where they have different dates. Today is 24th of October. It's my birthday today. My children were so excited how old I have gotten because we tell them and they have made me present. They write for me. So I'm grateful to God. You know, even if you never receive too much present in your life for birthday, I receive Emmanuel. And I just felt like I needed to thank him. Sister Joanne, I'm waiting for present from you. Don't even try to send those happy emojis. Who are you sending emoji for? Eh? Be yourself. Before I speak to you, this a uh, uh, Jamaican people, a uh, French. You know the Jamaican people French? Put up, put up. <laughs> My eight people. <laughs> eh? Sister Sharon, I am waiting. Sister Sharon, if you don't give me pre present, me, I am officially orphan when it comes to mama. The only mama I have is Papa Rocafeira's mama. And she already brought me present. She never forgets that, I can't lie. But uh, the official mama that I have now that uh, you people also saw on Facebook, they, they adopted me. It was not even a Nigerian woman. She from Gambia, Sharon Idris. So Sister Sharon, if you are going to have a daughter like me, don't become disgraced here online. Because Sister Sharon, if I don't receive the present, I'll come and drag you here. I'll come and drag you here. Sister Joanne, I will drag you. Sister Lynette, I will drag you. Sister Margaret, you will see this on YouTube later on. I will drag you. Sister Margaret, the present that I want from you specifically is I want you to make a video for me. What lets you twerk and bust it for Jesus? Uh -huh. Sister Margaret, are you hearing the instruction? I don't want no other present from you, Sister Margaret. I just want you to make a video while you are busting for the Lord. Small, small fear. Small, small, just small. Ka, ka, ka. Hmm? Eggy planty banana. I want you to bust it for the Lord. That's the present I want. And ask my daughter in law to join because I'll be looking at qualifications for marriage for my son, Pastor David. Tell her that she should shake well, well. It's not just anybody she's shaking for. Now, potential future mother in law, she might just be like Babe, go call him grandchild. And Babe, you might also be busy on time out. But birthday is a separate thing, especially those who love me. I want present, oh. Because those that I love, I also bring present. Those of you people on Facebook, happy birthday, happy birthday. Yes, not everybody should buy you present. It's true. Don't buy me present if you don't know me. I'm calling out the people that I know. Sister Sharon, I will drag you. I will drag you from here. What is the capital city of Gambia, Sister Sharon? Gambianese. I will drag you from here to Gambianese. Hmm? Sister Muyoba, the present you should send me. Sister Sha Shakira, let the Lord tell you. Hmm? Let the Lord tell you. If you can send me present, let me tell you present that I need actually right now. The present that I need is, Lord, they asked me question. The Lord said, you never know when you are speaking. Some of us will save Jesus in truth and in spirit. People don't, a lot of us don't like us. 90% might not like us. But that 10% that represents heaven is great. 
or greater is he that liveth in us than what is out here. Even the beds we are passing here. Witches, they, they die. Beds be dying this side and the other side. I told the African witches, stop flying this side and the other side. This place is covered. Even the shrines that used to live in this flat, they are no longer in business because even the old people in this house, in this flat, they behave themselves now. Body give me problem. I reported to the God of Abraham, Holy Penitentiary Center. He summoned them. Who can come out here anyhow? Uh -huh. Sister Shakina Muyoba, let me tell you the present I want. I want a microphone. You see this microphone? This microphone was very good, but it's three years now, and it broke. It's not nice because when I move too close, sometimes I like when they're under the anointing, when I feel like you want to reach it so much, it always punkra me like I feel the electricity because it broke a couple of times, you understand? If you see it, it's, it's bended. It's not straight. You see it? Can you see it? Can you see this bank? Yes. If you can buy me a microphone, it's 188 to 200 euros. It depends. They always change prices every morning. That one, I will appreciate. That's the present I want. And for those of you who are still asking about present, uh -huh, I need a speaker. Let me show you. Wait. I've been talking about it. I need a speaker. You see this B size? I need a speaker, but this one is not allowed because it doesn't have tunable cable. This one's ratchet. It has on and off. That's one. Mm -hmm. Don't buy me anything else. I need that speaker, the big one I show you, but I need it in this version with control panels like this one on top. And I showed people they know online. Those of you on Facebook, I need that present. Sister Joanne, Sister Lynette, Sister Sharon. No, Sister Lindsay, leave her alone. Sister Lindsay and Sister Beverly have already contributed to the speaker. But to those of you, my sister keepers, who have mentioned name, hmm? Sister Shakina, may God bless you for the microphone you are going to buy me. Sister Sharon, help communicate with Sister Shakina because she says she going to buy me microphone. You know, I don't play with the things for ministry. If you don't give me offering type and seed, no problem. If you call me and never bless me, no problem. But if you help me with the ministry, I'm grateful. And if you also don't bless me with the ministry, Sister Shakina, you say you prefer me to feed people with that money that you want to buy me microphone. It's also very good because for me, it benefits the kingdom of God, Sister. You understand? I'm just excited and happy what to do for this God like nobody business. Hello? And people might think we are team too much it's okay i would rather be too much anointed and too much holy ghost than in me mm -hmm. praise the lord pastor frank you the video that i want the present that i want from you let me think uh because you also want marriage in this house sisters give me one minute i want to take this present for pastor frank god or ever a fellow apostle what do you give him what kind of present okay pastor frank the present that i want from you is three cows I don't want nobody to be saying, mm, now, you, now you be frank. Frank want marriage in this house too. And you know me, I only have sons. And my sons are blessed and not their sons. Because I went to labor three times. My daughter only see man, never see fellow woman. I'm the one who collecting groom price. So even uh, Beverly, every woman that like my son, they have paid something. Groom price. So let's carry the go. Pastor Frank, I want three cows. Mm. Three goods. Mm. Mm. Three bags of charcoal. Because it's getting cold and the electricity is becoming expensive here in laws. You might have been helping us there because charcoal is cheap. Daisy, shut up because now you have to be a little bit of a little bit of if my English man has my assembly, I'm going to sing. Stupid. So let me finish. Brother James, you too, the present from your side, you better just look for your own because you don't want to be in the category of Pastor Frank. And you, Pastor James, because Brother James, you and me, we don't have any relationship for marriage in this future. So your present is open sesame. Those who want marriage in here, you better qualify the need. Otherwise, you will not go collect the marriage. Pastor Frank, I was not finished. Pastor Frank, please, I want you to write present if you're hearing me because this child wanted supporting her brother. Pastor Frank, can you hear me? Let me carry the coin in Jesus' name. Pastor Frank, are you hearing me? Uh -huh. Please, three goats, three cows, 
You know, this is a spiritual assignment. So I'm looking to, I am seeing these things. As I speak them, I am seeing them. <laughs> this is how the spiritual fathers, they make fast as they be doing you. Before. Let me carry the God. This is the joy of the Lord. Okay, Pastor Frank said he's there. We are not going to stop this thing. So Pastor Frank, three cow, three goods. Pig is where the Lord casted the demons. But it was when Jesus casted, it was those pig then, the pig that have been there already. If God didn't want pig, you would have stopped uh, making and branding pig. You would have stopped manufacturing. But because Jesus did not stop. So three cows, three good, three pigs. Mm? Praise the Lord. And then uh, I also want you to add uh, three bags of charcoal. Electricity since the war of Ukraine and Russia and all of this. Is becoming expensive here. The people are protesting. They are telling the government, we shall not pay our bills. Thou shall not pay our bills. So I want you people to understand what's happening. So Pastor Frank, three bags of charcoal. Thank you. So three bags of charcoal. What else is needed? Kapenta. Binzi, Finkwala, mm, Derere ya, ya Dryer, <laughs> Sister Sharon. <laughs> this bread press just moved from official bread press. It overflowed and went to the kitchen because now we are talking about dry fish and small fish. Ah, Pastor Frank, this one, the Lord said that <laughs> something amnesia me right now, man of God. So I just end there. Three cows, three goats, three pigs, uh, and three bars of charcoal. We shall start from there. And then the groom price, the man itself, the cash, the in the round. We shall talk about it later on, man of God. We shall see how your daughter fest is growing. And we shall see how my son uh, go to Yanafand. So for now, you can start with that. And you have entrance, which means it's not is a fulfilled promise entrance, Pastor Frank. You are entering into the Rockefeller Butter family where you there carry one son and you are paying for groom price. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Sister Sharon, don't be laughing there. Oh. Don't be laughing there. I will drag you this week until next this whole October sees. In fact, October was finished. I will drag you until next year. Mama, please. If it's diaper you want to buy for me, Sister Sharon, if they have diaper for my age, for just enjoying for birthday, buy me that diaper. I wear it on my head because everything is okay down there. So I wear the diaper like a, like a starish. You know? Anyway, let me go kill somebody with joy. You pastize it. Your own present to a woman of God. You, your own, I know exactly what I want. You know, that's the nice thing. When you're looking to the Spirit of the Lord, He lets you see the vision of the present that they should give you. So the Lord show you the type of vision that are convenient. Uh -huh. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Uh, Pastor Edith, you, your own present woman of God, I just want you to send a video when you are dancing. Woman of God, that dance you do when we were with uh, the function with Ibn and Mama Jade, the way you were shaking it, woman of God, that law, law, go law, go law for Jesus, law, go law for Jehovah, go, 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 come on, how long can you go for the law? So Lord, they cannot see your head. Hey, how long can you go for Jesus? So Lord, they can never touch me. How high can you so for the Lord? So high like an eagle in the sky. Hey, how? You see, one of God, that's the one I want you to send me. The one you were shaking, especially when you were turning around, shaking bosom. And let me tell you, one of God, you have a very good man. I'm telling you because I watch a video. Some of these men are weak. The woman of God, she was twerking for the Lord. And because how many of you people have seen that video? It's from South Africa. The man of God is in a choir group, and the choir group is all women, and the man of God is standing to another, next to another woman. And I think Pastor Eddie, she danced like you, she twerked too much, that the pastor wife feel jealous. She came to tell her, move away from my husband. But they started to argue at the altar, move away from my husband. Ah, jealousy at the altar, in the presence of the Lord. <laughs> Have you ever heard <laughs> things happening? Pastor like this, she slapped the other woman. The pastor said, no, 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 you can't do this. She said, come on now, this is my husband. I said, hey, okay, okay. So Pastor did. you are so lucky that Pastor Lo did not slap your face there because you were twerking, you twerk like me. God bless you, my sister, who has blessed you with a real man because this mumu's out here. <laughs> 
Dia pilih jelas ya Deota. Adeota. Oh, kamu tahu. Adeota ya pilih jelas. Now we go by you be pussy to. Your mama need to put you back in bed and go come and take breast milk so that your brain can function well. You understand? Praise the Lord. Anyway, my brothers and sisters, let me go and put a poster to sleep. I didn't come to stay long here. We cry, we laugh. That's us in the presence of the Lord in my family, in my home. I'll see you people later today. We are going to dance. I'm going to go under the bridge. There's no sun, but I'm going to shake and dance. And Papa Rokafil and his children are going to cook for me. They are going to cook for me, sisters. All of them, they are going to be in the kitchen except the apostle. I don't think that apostle should be there. God forbid the devil is a liar. You understand? The other ones can stand up for yourself. I don't trust men in the kitchen, but by the grace, God will take care of them. Holy Spirit will be their helper because they need to know how to cook and do things for their wives and children in the future. I don't want them to think that they will marry women anyhow. Mm -mm. I want them to actually, if they marry a African woman, I want that African woman to feel like she married a James Bond. My name is Bond. James anointed bonds like Brother James Sidon. You understand? Even in the body of Christ, we have the James bonds, James anointed bonds, James Holy Spirited bonds of the Holy Ghost of Jesus Christ. That's the type I want. I want women to be grateful. I want women to say, oh, I love this man. The way I appreciate my mother, you know, that's why even if we work at each other in the past, I will forgive her a hundred times because she raised good man for me. Who cook, who change diaper, who patient, who loving, and who break back well, well, and give gorilla. You know me, I cannot live without my husband gorilla kiss with uh, Vasarin. Hello. <laughs> if you definitely you laugh, just laugh there. If you are single, Pastor Frank, sing it out loud where you are in your house there. For all you single people who are feeling every time I talk about gorilla kiss, it detach your toto. Sing this song. Jehovah, you are my blank. Jehovah, you are my duvet. Oh Jehovah, you are my pillow. Oh Jehovah, you are my comforter. See, Pastor Frank is our church member, our church administrator who they carry this thing for the single people. Yes, he lead them to go to Jesus so that they don't go wrong way in sleep when they go to bed in Jesus' mighty name. You understand? So, my brothers and sisters, we go praise later on. Let me prepare, let me bath, let me do what I need to do. Let me watch my boys enjoy the morning a little bit. And later on, we are going to dance and thank the Lord. Yes, Pastor Frank. Eh? James Bond anointed. Ah, you see it. You have to know them. Me, I tell the people, I say, you, the world has made everything look funky. But everything is for God. The only thing they do is they remove the truth, the anointing, and the righteousness. If you put that back, everything is blessed and great. Except to witchcraft and wickedness. You understand? You see, Pastor Frank said it there. Some of you use blanket, some of you use duvet. Pastor Frank has even said there, Jehovah, you have a duvet for all of you who don't have a blanket. If you have duvet, and if you have, uh, you don't have duvet or you don't have blanket, you have bed sheet. Jehovah, you are my bed sheet. Jehovah, you are my bed sheet. Oh, Jehovah, you are my comforter. Oh, Jehovah, you are my one. Tell him the truth. Let me carry the go. I'll see you people later on. Shalom. Keep loving. And sisters, hey, I am aging well, well. I'm telling you. I know be young. Oh. Teddy, go leave me now. I am entering. I have entered. Sister Sharon, I am coming in your generation. Menopause is calling me. And I am very proud of it. Because when we get menopause, it a finish period. Isn't it, Sister Sharon? It will give you hot flash. Hmm? Sister Sharon? <laughs> It's not good to have a small baby and then just go into menopause. It means you did plan it very well. well. <laughs> if I want to be a veteran like you first. Yes, 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 yes. Thank before menopause come. Because you, your menopause go come late. Your friends are getting menopause at fault. You you get your menopause really late when somebody already crossed. That gym you are doing, sis. I will join it. Sister Shara, where you be? Sister Sharon, you heard what I said. Menopause is calling me. Sisters, I know a lot of you women think it is stupid. Sorry to all the men in the place. 
But there are some women who cannot wait to stop experiencing periods because you do not know what pain they go through. And that's just a fact. And men, if you are very afraid of period, we just want you to know, you come from period. The manufacturing and the production and the association of you people coming into being. Jesus used period. Period is your children. Don't hate periods too much. Ah, oh, it's nasty. It's filled. Without periods, your wives will not be able to clean their stomach so that your babies can come and sit inside the belly. You understand? Praise the Lord. You understand? And you don't like the blood. And the blood you come from, just love it. And just be open and speak about it. I don't like to speak in paraphrase and in area code. God forbid the Lord did not make me with that intelligence to be speaking in area code. He gave me wisdom and knowledge to speak the truth. And the truth will set us free. So brothers and sisters, don't be laughing at women who are still having period. You should be loving them. Every man who hates period. It's because of period you are alive. It's because of period you are alive. Yes, so when I say alive, you came to be. Ah, without period, where you think you be, you better start loving that period. You better start loving that period because that period is the reason why you, eh, brothers, let me not go holy anatomy here. Pastor Frank, tell your brothers to behave. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Nasty way. Nasty way. Mm. 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 It's in my mouth. Mm. It look like I want to knock a demon out. But anyway, I'll leave it for now. Let me say for my birthday. Today is my birthday. You understand me? Eh? Mm -hmm. God bless all of you people. Have a blessed day. And I'll see you people later on by the way. We want the grace of God. We go dance. Sister Marina Alexander, you are 58. You still love mine. Who's so? Hmm? Very good, sister. But sister... Uh, uh, sister Alexander, I just want to say something. No disrespect, ma'am. But uh, 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 how you say it? I don't want to. Sister Alexander, I do not want to be at 58 to still be having it. The plan is that to stop it later so that I can have room to also enjoy my old youth. You understand? Yes. But sister, you have a very good uh, 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 youth fountain that Jesus has blessed you. 58, and you are still having it. It means you can get pregnant. Oh. Now Sarah, at 81, you can still carry baby. You know, be bad, sister. Oh, don't be ashamed. You understand? Don't be ashamed. You see, presents are coming in. My mother-in-law, she is from my mother-in-law. Let me read it for my mama. You know, we are best friends now. We are girlfriends. I even speak pigeon English, and she don't speak any English, but she understands the jokes and the pigeon English. And when we need translation for deep things, Papa Roca said I translate for us. But she a village girl like me. She just white, but I know that in the aspect, she a village girl like me. Fine, Fiadak. Happy birthday, Rachel. Happy birthday with your birthday. And may you enjoy a wonderful day together with your four men. He, he, he. Big kiss from me, from us, Pa and Ma. This from my Ma. Thank you, Ma. Look after Ma. Look how fun you. Thank you, darling. You understand? Know, Jesus love has no barrier and back. Before we didn't get along. Now we are best. Since, <laughs> since Jesus they come in, we are best friends. And sometimes I be speaking this pigeon English. She understands. She be cracking up like all of you. And she know that I'm a drama queen. Mm -hmm. Praise be to God. Anyway, I'll see you people later on. Sister, Sister Marilyn Alexander. My sister, if you still want to have children, let nobody ever make you feel bad, okay? And if you are married and your husband and you find yourself in that thing, it means that the Lord has planned for the child. And yes, my sister, it's not everybody that will have children young. Please, if you have a child old, I tell myself, if God give me a papa a child at old age, 
It means he plans to allow me and Papa Rokafeda to live long like he allowed Abraham and Sarah because they waited for their blessing that long and he gave them time to see their blessing grow and be fruitful. Come on now. If it is something, I told Papa Rokafeda, I said, don't worry, baby. If the Lord decides to give us speaking, when our teeth already go fall out in our mouth, it means that uh -huh, youth found tension of youth of the Holy Land, of the Holy Ghost of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It will be running with the blood of Jesus Christ, the blood of the, of the lump in our, in our veins. Not the problem. No. My sister, you better just save it to Sister Marilyn, save it. You never know. Maybe Jesus wants to give you another child. And if you're a grandmother and you have children, <laughs> Me, I don't mind you. And I wouldn't be ashamed. I shame I tell my daughter in law, let's breastfeed together. That uh, my host, my son, David, go carry baby with his wife. And me to carry baby. By that time, monopause already reached me. And by the way, God planned it. Like Sharon always refused. Ah, I'll not refuse. Even when Sharon carry picking now, ah, I'll be official, the God mother. And we'll have to move in the same country so that I can be open, Sister Sharon. Because you know, Sister Sharon need to go to the gym. I don't want her to get the baby blues. You know, Sharon is a boy in her own way. So I always told her, always prayed. He has taught me that I shouldn't treat Sharon like a African. She's small, small. Again. You understand? So my sisters, it don't matter. Sister Flavor Shea. Some people have periods when they are 40. Some people stop having periods when they are 30. Some people have periods when they are 80. Some people stop having periods when they are 20. It's not about man or the body or science to tell you. It is the God of Abraham. We cannot know if Sarah had periods or not. But one thing that I know is that whether Sarah had periods or not, she got a child. With the God of Abraham, you actually never have to see a period in your life. But he's capable and he's able to land five, six twins in your total and the whole of dealing of the hospital. Prenatal section that they've been looking now this woman who didn't have uterus, they say yes. Where did the baby sit? In the uterus of the one and only sovereign Lord. So sis, don't worry whether you got periods or not. He's the God who is capable. He's the God who is able. Won't he do it? Yes, he can. I'll see you people later. Let me go and get ready. Shalom. God bless all of you. Love you and thank you for the birthday wishes. And we're going to still celebrate life. I love all of you and God loves you more. Shalom. Bye-bye.